Good afternoon, Pep. Um, could you start by giving us an update on Kevin De Bruyne? Is he fit? How, you know, what was the problem? Will he be able to play this week? Do you know? Uh, Happy New Year for everybody. Wish you all the best. Uh, he trained today, uh, but tomorrow we need another check in the morning. Uh, but he's much better. As far as this game goes, a lot's been made of the gap to Liverpool at the top of the table and what's at stake. But do you see it as an opportunity as well, knowing that if you win, it's the one game left this season where you know a win means you will cut the gap by three points to Liverpool? Our reality is, is, is clear. So we have uh, seven points down. So it will be the second game of the second leg. So a lot of points to play. I have the feeling uh, is a big opportunity for for us, you know. Of course, to reduce the gap. To but focus is the same. So everybody asking me the last days about what's going to happen. If you lose, if you lose, if you lose. You know, everybody counts. We are going to lose, but we are going to try to you know to to make our game to to win it, to be there and fight as far as possible. Our chance to to fight for the Premier League. Pep, Simon Stone, BBC, Happy New Year. In terms of the difference between the two teams, is there a subtle difference in defence? They've kept five clean sheets in December. You didn't keep any. Does that make a difference? Uh, but, yes. Always I say the same in, in that we have to, to see how many how many chances we concede. So we are the second team in Europe right now with more chances we create. So we are not precise enough on that. And always there are consequences or related about the chances we create, the chances we concede. We concede few. That is the feeling I have. We don't get too much, but the boxes are the main important thing. And, and of course, the last game we concede more goals than than usual but the, the 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 chances we create they are not not too much and the matches you've played against liverpool people make a big thing about the fact that they beat you so often last year but is it just like little periods in games because you know you could have easily won the champions league matches that they scored three goals at anfield very quickly there doesn't seem to be a difference between the teams that would make them think that they will beat you always I have listen I have so uh, I cannot I cannot uh, figure out or imagine so what happened in the past is going to happen in the future so every time when, when we won a lot of games I'm not that doesn't mean that uh, it's going to happen in the future I have the feeling and everybody can beat us but also I have the feeling every, we can beat everybody so that is my feeling. So last season, yeah. Last season we beat them 5-0 here. So, but doesn't count. I know that. Uh, so I know. So it's Liverpool, my friends. So is United the best team in, in, in England in all history? So it's Liverpool. So of course can beat us. So, yeah. But also we can beat them. So I know today nobody tries us. Nobody make one coin for us. I know that, but it's what it is. So they are in top form. They are, I said in my previous conference, they are in that moment for me the best team in Europe in the way they play, in the consistency, and they, they control all the details in, in, in their game. So, but it's a good challenge for us. So we're going to reduce the gap, focusing in, in what we have to do to win the game. Everybody's asking what happened if the same we lose. Now what happens if we win? So we're going to try as a football game what do we have to do. And after we're going to analyze in the post press conference what was the game. And and three days later we have FA Cup and semi finals Carabao Cup, balls here. And at the end of the season we're going to make the resume about what was the season. Uh, Pep Don McGuinness Talk Sport. As you go into the new year, Pep, how would you assess your team at this stage now, obviously behind Liverpool, but overall, how would you assess the first half of the season? I'm so glad. I'm delighted. We make a lot of points. Situations that we 
We dropped two points, especially one we didn't expect at home against Crystal Palace, but they were so precise, three shoots and targets, three goals. So it was difficult for us uh, to handle that situation, uh, but we make a lot of points, but their one team was better. You have to congratulate them so far, what they have done, but counting, I know exactly what happened when you, you win the Premier League and you make 100 points, a lot of nice words, nice compliments about all of us. How do you this come back? And we did it. That's we, why um, I'm delighted with the players, with the team, with the staff, with everybody. We are into January now, and you've consistently said that you, you didn't think that there would be any business as such. You have players out on loan and, and, and all sorts of uh, implications. Will there be no ins, no outs? That's, that's still the, the same way that you're thinking now as we are into January? Yeah, it's the third time I answer that question. No news, good news. So, no. Maybe tomorrow I change my opinion, but today, no. No, I'm glad with the, with the players I have. I have players can play in different positions. We are going to live with that situation. Hi, Pep. What's the most important thing to see from your players tomorrow? Is it just to, to be relaxed or do they need to go over it from the first whistle? Well, be relaxed against Liverpool will be a mistake, I think so. We have to be aggressive, aggressive with, without the ball. Be ourselves. Like always, we, we speak about that. Everybody take responsibility and be ourselves. At the end, it's a jazz of football game, a nice game. Everybody's going to watch. It's a pleasure to be there. It's what you have to do. And obviously, Liverpool are unbeaten this season. Is this an opportunity to hit their confidence a little bit with a win tomorrow? Yeah, of course, if we have more confidence, we'll be happier than if we, if we lose by the football game. We know exactly which opening we play, respect that we have, and that is a challenge. If we want to grow like a club, like organization, like a team, we have to face these kind of games with the pressure that means, and that is the point.